Okay, here we are. We're looking at number seven um, for the study guide. We're looking for x uh, in the expression 2x plus 2. We see that we have this trapezoid, and this segment that is 19.5 units long is a, is a mid-segment. We can tell by our congruent marks. Um, this side here is congruent to this side, and this side to this side, so these are the midpoints. And so we have a mid-segment. And we have a theorem that says that the um, mid-segment is one-half the sum of the bases of a trapezoid. The mid-segment, which is 19.5, I'm going to write an equation that represents that statement. The mid-segment, which is 19.5, is or equals one-half the sum of the bases. Okay, we're going to use parentheses because it's one half the sum, so we're going to use parentheses in order of operations to make us add first. So we have 2x plus 2 plus 17. Okay, so the mid length of the mid-segment is one half the sum of the bases. So 19.5 is equal to uh, one half um, 2x plus 19. Okay, and, and in, instead of, you know, multiplying everything out through 1 half, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this 1 half. Okay, if I multiply both sides by 2, then I'm left with, let's see, 39 is equal to 2x plus 19. I'm going to subtract 19 on each side and I have 2x is equal to 20. And then to get x by itself, I divide by 2 and x is equal to 10. All right, so x, the value of x is 10. If you put in 10 for x, you have 2 times 10, which is 20. 20 plus 2 is 22. 22 um, plus 17 is 39. 19.5 is half of 39. All right, let's look at number eight. Number eight says four students are choreographing their dance routine for the high school talent show. <clears throat> the stage is rectangular and measures 15 yards by 10 yards. The stage is represented by the coordinate grid below. Three of the students uh, listed there are graphed, you know, their starting positions are graphed as shown below. Let H represent Hannah's starting position on the stage. What should be the X coordinate of point H so that RKJH is a parallelogram? Okay, we can approach this in several ways. With a parallelogram, um, remember opposite sides are parallel, so that means they're going to have the same slope, and they're also congruent. So basically, you know, let's say we're starting from point K. However many up and over we go, that's the slope. That's how many up and over we're going to have to go from R uh, to H, Hannah's spot. So the slope of KJ is up 1 and over 1, 2, 3, 4. So from point R, if we go up 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, over, we're right here. Okay? Right at this point here, which is 9, 4. And they're asking for the x-coordinate um, for Hannah's spot, so x would equal 9. Okay, let's stop there.